Hey guys, Mike here. It's Everyday Reviews for Everyday Life. Now, this is normally something that I would show up on my tech channel, but because I'm not doing much of a technical review, I'm just giving some quick thoughts about this, which is called the Bridge Stone 2. It's a USB-C multi-port hub that is compatible with both Windows and Macintosh. I decided that since this is non-technical, it's gonna be really short and quick uh, relative to my more technical channel. I thought I'd give my thoughts on this. This is an eye-watering 150 US dollars. Now, I like it, okay, but just not at 150 US dollars. This has so far worked out just fine for me. I took it on a trip, used it for a couple of weeks just to test it out. And it's very, very premium product. I got this to go along with my new MacBook Pro and one chip based processor because they only give me two USB-C Thunderbolt ports, which is very unfortunate because I definitely need more than that. Now on my trip, what I found was lacking for me and obviously I can't blame it on the Bridge uh, Stone 2 because it says straight up what kind of ports it has. So it gives you three USB 3.1 ports. It gives you one ethernet port gives you one hdmi 2 port that supports 4k at 30 hertz it gives you one usb-c charging port and then finally one usb-c 3.1 port what i was really looking at was for actually some sort of thunderbolt solution unfortunately with most thunderbolt solutions i'm actually going to have to carry on an extra power adapter so i thought that maybe this somehow magically was able to give me those type of speeds and it's not it's just a usb-c hub with a bunch of ports on here now it is very premium feel product this is built like a tank like many of their other products this can easily show up on something like an apple store product if this was labeled apple i would not be surprised but obviously it's not it's by bridge and it is only usb-c now, why is it $150? Again, it's probably just the premium feel and design of the entire thing. Everything top to bottom screams quality. And when you pick it up, it feels like something as expensive as it is. It feels like a nice solid brick. Unfortunately, the technologies that is available in this is nothing exclusive about it. Uh, you have other USB-C portable products that are definitely have the same similar amount of ports for maybe one fifth, one third the price easily. And I didn't notice any su sufficiently superior speeds coming out from this than I did with the other USB-C multi ports that I also tested as well. One thing that I found was really lacking for me was I really wanted uh, additional USB-C ports of which this only gives you one. Okay. And the other thing is that $450, I kind of wish that they gave me some sort of ultra special power adapter and they don't so you got to supply your own power adapter and you could use the one that came with your mac they do give you this really nice cable and i have to say this is one of the higher quality cables than i'm used to seeing on other third-party multi-port uh, multi products so this is a really good cable but it still doesn't make up for the high cost of this usb-c multi-port one other problem with this is that this seems as premium as it is, this doesn't seem to be really glued on well. This kept coming off. You see that? And while it doesn't really affect the performance of the port too much, um, it is annoying to see that happening on a $150 product. The idea with this is that I set this down on the table. It's got a nice weight to it so it doesn't shift around. This whole bottom piece here is rubberized so that it doesn't move around on the table and shift. And then on top of that, you're supposed to lay your MacBook or Windows computer on top of that. And that seemed to work just fine for my MacBook uh, Pro M1. So. Um, overall, I, I got to say, I, I only give it three stars and I only recommend it if price is pretty much no object. And, uh, if you don't need a micro SD or SD card reader, of course, I take a lot of photos and videos. I live with USB-C, uh, no, sorry, USB-C to uh, micro SD and SD card adapters. And this, of course, I would have to use up one of these valuable ports in order to get access to my SD card storage. So for those reasons alone, uh, I am sending this back. Uh, I recommend it if you have no ports, but think very carefully about what ports you need and whether or not you're gonna be traveling with this because this is a hefty product. This feels like a really light brick and it feels like a really quality product, but traveling with it, uh, it feels like it adds a good half a pound. I'll have statistics about the weight uh, on the screen right here for you to go ahead and decide. But 
I'm definitely going something else when I'm traveling. When I'm at home, I'm going to stick with Thunderbolt because you got to plug in those things to power the Thunderbolt ports. There is no direct from the computer or MacBook powered Thunderbolt ports. I was kind of hoping this was it. It's not it. My fault. Uh, but if you are interested in checking this out and maybe you could get it in sale, please check it out on my link down below. I'll link you directly right now to Amazon where this is selling for 150 US dollars. All right, that's it for this quick little review. Give a like, subscribe for more, and thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.